I've always been interested in biology. Even as a child, I'd get a lot of tonsillitis and it used to, um, I used to ask, what's going on in there? Why are my tonsils so big? And it's still a question that drives me today. I grew up in Ballarat and came to Melbourne Uni um, and did a science degree. It was a really special opportunity to come and work with a Nobel Prize winning scientists like Peter Doherty and Steve Turner, who really taught me the fundamentals of, of what it means to be a scientist. You know, how to critically think about my experiments, how to plan them, but also how to write about them and how to present them and why that's even important. So during my PhD, I really developed a lifelong love of T cells. And these are white blood cells that, that fight infection, um, which then took me on to a postdoc after that in the UK. My mum's from Ballarat, a Gundi Jamara woman, and when I was in Oxford and Cambridge, I was informed that there had never been an Indigenous Australian attend Oxford or Cambridge University. So I worked with the Aurora Project with Richard Potok and uh, helped provide uh, opportunities in the form of scholarships for Indigenous students to attend Oxford and Cambridge. And I'm proud to say that we have now sent 14 Indigenous students to Oxford and Cambridge University as of this year. I was very humbled to receive the L'Oreal Fellowship. It really um, was a lovely accolade of my accomplishments and I'm, it really has given me the confidence to pursue a career in science. I am in an exciting stage in my career. I'm a young researcher who's passionate about killer T cells and I'm at the stage where I'd like to start my own research group and start to recruit some young researchers to work with me. And, uh, and this fellowship will, will help provide opportunities for that. It's also difficult to work as a research scientist and at the same time be a mother, especially when my daughter has been so sick. So the L'Oreal Fellowship will also help provide childcare support for my daughter. In a decade, I'd really hope that I'd be in a, in a position with a strong research team with independent funding and to have really nutted out how these killer T cells do their job effectively so that we can really start to apply some of this biological knowledge to the clinic and to help patients.